Hi, today we're going to take a look at a uh, Doosan air compressor that didn't want to start. There's some background to it. I'll go over what uh, happened at the at the end of the video so you know uh, what caused this. And this is going to be different than most of the stuff I do just because I actually went out to the job site and looked at this. Uh, there's a friend of mine who's He's got a mobile repair business, has had it for most of his life, and a uh, very good mechanic. And he uh, asked me to come out and take a look at this, and so uh, it, you're going to see what went on. So this was the video was taken with my phone, and there's a, it's two or three. I was, there was a couple visits, different visits, and it was cold outside, so <laughs> I don't do well in the cold that much anymore. So anyway... Um, it's going to be a little bit different than usual, but uh, the point is it's got good information. Okay, here we go. This is a little deuce on that we're going to work on. And I went out there and opened it up. And it was a little four-cylinder Cummins. And it's 163 horsepower. We're out here to take a look at this compressor for no start. The little Cummins. And we're going to see what, why she won't fire. I think I know, but we'll find out. Bill got out his copy of Cummins Insight, and we had to do a inducement reset. I'll explain that at the end of this video. Let's see what happened. To, to um, Billy, hold the laptop. You got it? Grab it, grab it. Got it? Start it. This sounds kind of quiet now because the phone purposely blanks out outside noise so that you can uh, hear voices better. So that's why you don't hear the engine running too well. Now we've hit the um, build air button and you can see the air pressure's up and she's running at full speed even though you can't hear it too well. We're in Cummins Insight. We're on the parameter screen. And in this particular machine, one of the options is final inducement restart, maximum restart limit, and restart counter. This is a uh, feature that they use in machines that run a standalone run. Uh, you won't see this in an automotive or on highway application, usually only industrial. And not all industrials have it. You don't see this in cranes, but you do see it in things like air compressors or pumps that sit by themselves and just run. So our inducement is enabled. That means the uh, software has the power to shut it down. You're allowed four restarts when there's an active inducement. And we had to set this back to zero. Uh, when we first went in here, that was a 5 where the 0 is. And we just highlighted that and set it to 0 and saved it. And that reset the inducement counter for us. And once you reset that, if that's all that's preventing the machine from starting, it will start. Now the compressor would crank just fine. It would just time out and wouldn't fire or wouldn't run. So here's what happened. A uh, customer had rented that machine from the company that rents them. Uh, they didn't know they had to put DEF in it, and they ran it out of DEF. And then the machine shut itself down due to the emission system shutting it down because there was no DEF fluid in the machine. So the customer uh, filled the DEF tank up, but before he did that, he had restarted the machine. And it would run for about 15 minutes and then shut back off. So he called and he said, hey, there's a light on. I need another machine. They brought him out another machine. They swapped this machine out. Then someone was looking at this machine <clears throat> and starting it and would run for 15 minutes and shut down. What they didn't know, uh, all the people involved in this, is that they were running the inducement counter up. 
So what's the inducement counter for? That's another video. But they ran it up to five counts. And then after that, the machine will crank all day long until the batteries are dead, but it will not start. And once we went in and reset the inducement counter to zero, it started. Now, if you notice, the check engine light was on. In my next video, I'm going to address a little bit more about the inducement counter and why the check engine light was still on.